Hey guys, it's Tech Check, and today we're going to take a look at a tablet computer from 1998. In the mid to late 90s, computers looked mostly like these. Gray, beige, big, bulky, disgusting, horrible, terrible. Ugh, I feel sick just looking at them. <laughs> but then, there's this. The Sharp Mobileon Tripad. And from every angle, this thing looks pretty good. I mean, for 1998, this thing is pretty thin. I mean, look at it next to a MacBook. Pretty good. Keep in mind, this Mobileon Tripad is 17 years old! 17! Look at that. It can go tablet easel, or even regular old laptop. It does it all. And its screen can be adjusted infinitely so that you can always get a perfect viewing angle every time. 17 years old! All right, let's fire this baby up. Now, the first thing you'll notice is it boots up immediately. No boot screen, no resuming Windows nonsense. This thing turns on right away. It doesn't even have a boot screen. It's that fast. 17 years old! Now I should point out that this computer is incapable of shutting down. The only way you can get it to turn off is if it runs out of battery. And then it resets all of the RAM and the storage and whatnot, and then you have to set it up again. But that doesn't matter. It simply goes from sleep to wake to sleep to wake with the push of the button, immediately. No boot screen exists on this computer. How does it do that? Well, it's actually kind of complicated. This computer has a grand total of 16 megabytes of RAM. Not gigabytes, megabytes. Now, this RAM isn't only RAM. It actually performs two functions because this computer has no hard drive. It has no hard drive because it's so thin. It uses a dividing program which is in the software to allocate what you want to use for RAM and what you want to use for the internal storagey thing. Now that means that this 17 year old computer uses the same built in RAM soldered directly onto the motherboard that didn't become popular until 2010 with the second generation MacBook Air. 17 years old! Now let's take a look at what we actually get as standard with this computer. If you look, you'll see on the right side, we have a full version of Microsoft Office. We have calendar, notepad, paint, email, a random thing that says my personal handheld computer or whatever. It's not really handheld, it's a bit big for that, but you know, we'll, we'll forgive them for that. And the coolest part about all of this free software, including Solitaire by the way, takes only 400 kilobytes of storage. A modern day Word document takes more storage than the entire contents of this computer. Let's go take a look at some of these free programs that we get with the computer. So the first thing we can look at is the paint program, which interestingly enough is really good for something built in 1998. You have choices for styluses, for brushes, filling, shapes, all sorts of goodies. And since you can calibrate the screen yourself, to make it nice and accurate, this little stylus works really well as a paintbrush. Another application we can look at is Solitaire, which is a surprisingly playable game. On a 17 year old computer you expect it to be slow and juddery, but it doesn't skip a beat, it just keeps on going. Playing the Solitaire until the cows come home. It doesn't even get warm. And this thing has an 84 megahertz processor. That's like a tiny tiny fraction, a hundredth the speed of a modern day computer and it's only single core so the fact that it can play these games and do every single thing that you would ever need it to do without skipping a frame is unbelievable as a bonus this computer has possibly the most comfortable keyboard I have ever used it just keeps getting better this old gray weirdly shaped and strangely made computer that no one has ever heard of is quite possibly the best computer the 90s ever produced. I think it deserves recognition for that. 
See you next week.